What's going on YouTube? This is What Would Josh Do? And this is a quick little video, hopefully, on the uh, <laughs> NVIDIA Shield TV. I've got a mouse and keyboard two-in-one combo receiver in there. I've got my Google Fiber connected to a gigabit Ethernet port, so I should get very fast speeds out of it. And I've got a 64 gig USB 3.0 drive in there. And what we're going to do is show some things here. Got my controller hooked up. What I did was I went on the computer, I uh, went to ES File Explorer on the Google Play, and I told it to install on my uh, Shield TV. So it automatically went ahead and put it on there and didn't do anything but click install from the computer. And then from there, I'm able to access all this other stuff. Now, I'm not a huge fan of ES File Explorer. If you search Badu, B-A-D-U, in ES File Explorer, apparently they send some of your information, like your IMEI, to some Chinese server or something so I'm not a huge fan of it but I don't really know of any other file managers that will work uh, on here so what you'll do is you'll go over to where it says SD card and you'll press A and then you'll have the option of choosing your USB drive I've got a 64 gig X fat and that's one of the cool things too is with the latest update it did provide NTFS and X fat support for micro SD cards so I've got a 64 gig micro SD card in there it's a high speed one it's very fast and I've got that 64 gig flash drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and press on that. And then from here, uh, I can start installing apps that are APKs. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose this one. I'm gonna go down to install. And then it says that it's blocked. So I need to go to settings, unknown sources. Okay, okay. I'm also gonna go to verify apps and I'm gonna make it a little bit easier on myself by choosing not. Uh, make passwords visible. I wanna go ahead and make that no also. So now when I press on it, and I go to install, and then next, install, I should be able to launch Kodi, and you're gonna, this is my first time doing this, so this is also your first time seeing what happens, and I've got a little mouse here, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit open, just make my life a little bit easier, and preparing first run, Kodi, all right, sweet. Uh, I am gonna go to settings, and then go to video and then subtitles and uh, where is that default TV service there's sub scene uh, I guess I'll click get more I haven't done this in a while subtitles uh, sub scene right here sub scene dot com install and then we go back and we'll do that with uh, movies and we'll do sub scene. Okay, so it already did it. Cool. And now I just gotta click on the TV service and hit this one. Then now I'll, I'll be able to download subtitles. But so I'm gonna go over to videos, and I'm gonna choose video add-ons or no, not add-ons. I'm sorry, files, and then get more. And then ah, oh, not get more. What the heck? Where is it? Files. And then there's the USB drive. Uh, path not found, so what we need to do is add that path. Oh, right, here we go. Now I'll hit browse. This is what I was trying to find, and you want external storage. And, okay, it's not showing up there, so we'll probably have to go to the root file system and then uh, storage right here. And then here's the USB drive. We'll hit OK. And then OK. That might be wrong. Here we go, USB drive. USB drive two, okay, USB drive two was the one I needed to do. Uh, this, this is all my very first time doing this stuff, so you're seeing it here with me for the first time. So we're gonna go ahead and click on this thing here. It's in 4K at 60 frames per second. Uh, the 1080p one's taking forever to download, so I'm not gonna be able to test that one. But look at this, this is a 1080p monitor right here 1080p but it is handling it absolutely perfectly the sounds playing through the speakers on the monitor here I can go ahead and turn that up I mean it's just fluid and smooth in 60 frames per second it looks absolutely gorgeous it's a 4K video playing flawlessly on a 1080p monitor. So if you had a 4K display, you'd be able, you'd be watching this in 4K right now with absolutely no lag. This is the first Android device I've seen to do this this well. 
That is awesome. I could watch 4K videos and 1080p, so it'll look better than just watching a 1080p on a 1080p monitor. So this will, this is awesome. This is incredible. We can go ahead and skip through it. I am using a USB 3.0 drive, so it's going, it's it's able to find the file really quickly. And you can see right here it says 4K. And the sub scene thing, we can hit download. And if you had like a show or a movie or something, you would just click in this list here and download it. This is awesome. I'm able to skip around and there's no lag at all. And to get rid of the screen, just press escape or B. That just looks freaking incredible. That looks awesome. <laughs> So let's go ahead and exit out of here, let's, uh, exit, and then home, and then quit, exit. So yeah, that's about all I, I have. So for video clips, all right, I got a video clip here. You can also choose Cody from here too, if you want to do it this way. All right, hey, I need this ghost. <laughs> I want this, or um, like, so yeah, I play Destiny more than anybody should, and I'm just going through here and I want to choose VLC just to see how well it pulls up. Not sure why I saved this clip, I guess. Yeah, so that's it. It works great. I want to leave this screen. I don't know how to do that though. Go back. I'll just, okay, so I hit back on this right here and it took me back. Cool, awesome. So ES Fall Explorer can be installed via a web browser and that's just the easiest way I've found. I will provide a link to it in the description and then all of your future APKs can be installed by just going up here and choosing your micro SD card or your USB drive. So that's awesome. That's awesome, awesome, awesome. The, the So far, this thing is a beast. It's absolutely incredible. I've been playing uh, some games like Grid 2 and uh, other games on here, and they just look absolutely amazing. They're awesome. Dirt 3 looks really, really good. I mean, just all this stuff looks incredible and plays just absolutely flawlessly. I am in love with this. And I honestly, from the bottom of my freaking heart, cannot tell you to buy an Nexus player. This, do not buy an Nexus player. Do not buy a Fire TV. Buy this thing. Two full USB 3.0 ports that can load APKs, movies, TV shows, uh, just anything you want. Two full-size USB 3.0 ports. Hook a hub up if you need even more. You've got freaking a micro SD card, so you can put a... I have a 64 gig, but I also have 128 close by, a couple of them. I have a 200 gig SanDisk card that you can purchase. There, there, so much storage expandability, so much horsepower, so many options and things you could do. No, this is not the review. I just got it yesterday. I just really, really wanted to get all this on video and show you guys what all this is capable of doing. So if you enjoyed the video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. I'd greatly appreciate it. This is the first video I've done in a long time. That's pure, raw, uncut, dragged it from the SD card onto my computer and uploaded it to YouTube without editing it. So, <laughs> oh man, please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. All links will be in the description. Thank you guys so much for the support. This is incredible. This is what Josh do, and I'm out.